Hi, my name is Anika. I'm the pharmacist. How can I help you? I'm Dr. John from the clinic next door. I'd like to get a recommendation for a patient of mine. Okay, Dr. John, why don't you have a seat in our private counseling area? Everything we discuss is confidential. Um, I'm happy to help you. Uh, what is our patient's mutual, mutual patient's name? The patient name is John Jones. John Jones? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, just a few questions about John Jones. Uh, what medication are you, would you like to prescribe? Well, for currently him? I'm prescribing Ciprofloxacin, uh, 250 milligram twice daily for streptococcal sore throat infection, and I just need your recommendation. Okay. Um, just a few questions about John's current condition. What are his symptoms? Well, usual sore throat, difficult swelling, and a swab test confirms with streptococcal positive okay. sore throat. Okay. Just a few questions about John's uh, general health, just to get a better picture. Um, how old is John? John is 10 years old. Okay. And how much does he weigh? About 28 kilograms. All right. Does he have any allergies? No allergies. At any all. medical conditions? No. Is he taking any prescription medication? No. Or is he taking any over-the-counter medication? Well, mom mentioned that she had given him a certain of pain suspension mm -hmm. to help with the pain. Okay. And is that helping him? Do you know? Well, a bit, but okay. I guess I'm, I'm going to give him the step of to to milligram. Okay. And um, is he taking any vitamins that you know of? Uh, no vitamins. Or herbal remedies? No. All right. Um, just a few questions about his lifestyle. Um, do you know if he's an active boy? Well, basically active, but yeah. the mother was able to, to see a decrease in his activity based on the pain that he's having. Okay. Yeah, so. And uh, would you know if he is uh, anything about his diet? Pretty balanced, but doing a lot of drinking. No changes. Okay. Um, I'd just like to take a look at my reference uh, to see if this is a suitable therapy for him. Would you just give me a moment, please? Thank you. Okay, so according to my reference, reference, which is the CTC, um, I would like to uh, just let you know that um, it, the superfloxin is not recommended for pediatric patients, uh, mainly because it can cause uh, damage to his weight-bearing joints and cartilage abnormalities, uh, which um, has only been seen in some animal studies with rats and dogs. But because of this, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving him the ciprofloxacin. Okay. Um, but there are other therapies available to treat the strep throat, um, like other antibiotics. Um, would you be open to knowing about those? Yeah, sure. Okay. So there's a few. Um, there's penicillin B, uh, amoxicillin, and erythromycin, uh, just to name a few. Um, is there any one in particular you would uh, recommend? Please give me a recommendation. Okay. Sure. Uh, for the, um, I just would like to ask you, does, can the patient uh, swallow? Uh, I prefer to give him um, suspension. Oh, okay. You want to give him suspension. Okay. Let me just check my reference then. Okay, so I would like to give uh, amoxicillin, okay. uh, only because it is the one available as a suspension, but the penicillin B, which is also the drug of choice, isn't available okay. as a suspension. So um, I'd like to give him 700 milligrams uh, twice a day okay. uh, for 10 days. Okay. okay. And um, I'll definitely follow up with him yes. uh, when, when I see him. And just uh, just to let you know, remind the patient uh, on upon 
first dose of having his amoxicillin, he should wait 24 hours before he goes back to school. Okay. Okay, so I'll follow up with him soon. Um, is there anything else I can help you okay, with? Okay, so amoxicillin, 700 milligram twice daily for 10 days. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then okay. I'll send the patient over to you and you can okay. follow up with the patient. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much and have yourself a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'd like to give you guys some tips regarding the case we just did, which was the ciprofloxin case um, and for, for a patient under age of the 18. Um, so in this case, the patient came in and he was 10 years old. And uh, you have to ask the age because it's a doctor to doctor case. So it's always important to um, get all the information about the patient and also always ask the weight when it is in regards to antibiotics. It's also a good idea to learn all the contraindications for uh, special populations uh, and with, in regards to antibiotics, so but whether it's a kidney uh, function and antibiotics, um, different populations like elderly, younger patients, and which ones are contraindicated, which antibiotics are contraindicated in pregnancy and breastfeeding as well. It's a good idea just to have that in your head or just to know which ones are more appropriate uh, that way when you are presented with a case like some or if you ever see something like this in the future then you already have a, a good idea uh, in your mind and you don't have to spend too much time in the reference. Okay, I hope that really helps you and I'll see you in the next case.